coming up this year is the most open, unpredictable general election in years. At the Sixth Informer, we've issued a balanced, fair voting guide, free of any indoctrination, in order to convince you who you should vote for. My name's Ed Miliband, and at the start of my speeches, I speak so slowly so you can understand what I'm saying. And then when I get a bit more passionate, you see, I have all these funny faces. You need to vote Labour on May the 7th because we have an existential crisis. The cost of living crisis is putting the people of Britain in danger. Now, I love the NHS, but also bacon sandwiches. Vote Labour. Hi. Sorry. Hello. I'm Nick Clegg. Sorry. And I'm part of the Liberal Democrats. David? Um, has Mr Cameron gone? Don't let him beat me again. Labour are too communist. The Conservatives are too fascist. Thankfully for you, the Liberal Democrats are nothing at all. Sorry. Sorry. So oh, sorry. In 2010, we had the great ideas of lower student tuition fees. Thankfully, we're sorry about that. Sorry about that too. Vote Liberal Democrats, or Labour, or even Conservatives. You can vote what you like, I really don't mind. Or don't vote at all. Sorry. Hello, my name's Nigel Farage, and I'm here to tell you about the problems that we face with our country. And that's all because of the immigrants. Vote UK. Hello, I'm Natalie Bennett. Hello, children of our planet. Hello, trees. Hello, sky. I'm the Green Party leader, and at the Green Party, we support the environment, along with recy... That's the wrong one. What the hell are you doing? That's not a gosh darn flimsy gibbet recycling bin! At the Green Party, we're here to promote clean, green and... What the hell are you doing on the grass? Oh, sorry, I didn't... Bugs lift there! Why don't I walk on your raffin' Jaffin' home? Sorry. Are you vegetarian? Shame on you. You should, of course, be vegan. As am I. Vote Green Party. Vote the environment. We did invite David Cameron to take part in these broadcasts, but he declined. It's tough being an external, but in my experience, it's even tougher being an external in Year 12. As one of the sick from former's most experienced and naive journalists, I've been commissioned to put together a documentary exploring how Year 12s, in order to fulfil our diversity quota, have settled in over the last year. I'm here with the real tip shots, Sir Richard. I mean, you're a Year 12 external, but it feels like you've been here a bit longer than everyone else. Well, yeah. obviously you're very independent, you can drive. Yeah. Are there any particular things that you like about having a car? Oof, well, um, like you say, you've got independence, I can drive anywhere I want. You know, I can drive anywhere, anybody, anywhere they want. But yeah, it's quite good, I enjoy having a car. I have fond memories before the real A-level workload set in of when I was in Year 12. Rapping in front of a whole sick form about tearing asses in two without a care in the world. So I'm here with Elliot, another external. I'm not an external. Yes, you are. Okay. So, do you also struggle to pull at socials, or is that just me? Well, yeah, I do struggle to, to pull at socials, but I don't really go to them. I'm here with James. Uh, do you feel that you've been accepted by the year above, or do you just feel like we've exploited you for the sake of our videos? I feel like we've exploited. We've got no year 12 branch, it's disgusting. It's horrible. So, in terms of representation, do you feel that sick form councils suit the needs of year 12s, or has it just been a load of year 13s gassing about prom for the last three months? I think you already know the answer to that one, Dom. It's just year 13s gassing about prom, isn't it? And now a public service announcement from our dear leader and president, Joe Glynn. He's asked us to inform you that Coke will be on sale this Friday. I'm so excited, I've managed to get my hands on some already. It's a bargain at 70p.